have been living through an extraordinary time, apart but together. It has asked much of us all as members of the University of Saskatchewan community. Like every university in the world, to respond to this pandemic, we have had to make fundamental changes to everything we do, helping keep us all safe during this difficult time and contributing to the safety of the city and the province. Understandably, there is considerable personal stress and anxiety. And on behalf of my leadership team, I'd like to thank you all for the many contributions you are making to fight this very serious disease in the midst of your own personal challenges. This is new territory for all of us. I'm grateful to all of you who've had to make the move to working from home, in isolation from your colleagues, and far from the day-to-day -day rituals and camaraderie we perhaps took for granted. The move off campus of our workforce is on a scale never before seen in this university's history. I thank all of you for making the extraordinary whole-scale move to online teaching and learning, as well as the complete move to online exams. And I extend my appreciation to our university's IT team that has enabled and supported this move so expertly. I share the disappointment of our graduating students and their families because we cannot hold in-person convocation ceremonies in June to celebrate your accomplishments. Your degrees will be formally conferred in June nevertheless, and we will find a way to celebrate at a later date as you and your families so richly deserve. All of our decisions have been based on the best evidence and predictions available to us and are closely aligned with federal, provincial, and municipal government policies, as well as with Canada's post-secondary community and our many program accreditation bodies. In this regard, I'd like to thank the university's crisis management team, whose work has been crucial and continues to be undertaken at a relentless pace. In the midst of all this, we are finding ways to help the city, the province, and the country respond to the crisis. We've got world-class research that's on the front lines of the fight against the virus. At Vito Intervac, for instance, where researchers are working on a vaccine and potential medications. We've got faculty and students working on everything from modeling the pandemic spread to helping reduce individuals' anxiety levels. We are finding opportunities to help our local communities with students helping to get supplies to people in need and tracking COVID-19 cases in Canada. And we've got highly trained alumni making a difference in many fields here and globally in the fight against the pandemic. In short, we are working together to be the university the world needs in this global crisis. I urge you to continue to reduce the spread of COVID-19 and its impact by ensuring physical distance and self-isolation when necessary in accordance with federal and provincial public health orders. We will make it through this, apart, but no less together. Thank you and stay well.